It's Tuesday. That means we are going shopping and we actually bring the shopping to us. It's great. The best kind of shopping. We got Miss Sadie Journey from Clothes Mentor. And this is all about, you know, dressing for spring, but really dressing for your silhouette. It makes a difference, Miss Sadie. Absolutely. So one of the things that you can take with you at any shop, at any store, whether you're thrifting, shopping, or even looking at dresses online is what is my body shape? What's my silhouette? And how can I use that to my benefit while I shop for spring? Yes. So the first body type that we're going to talk about is kind of an apple shape, and that's typically going to be your bustier person, a person who holds weight in their midsection um, and tend to, tends to have more slender legs, right? So given that, most of what we're going to look at for this person is going to be a dress kind of like this one where you're showing off some leg, yes. right? This is typically an asset that people are really excited to flaunt. And what we love here is with these ruffles, we're thinking about lines, and this is gonna create the illusion of being pulled in here without hugging an area that many of these people may wanna conceal. Right. Right. That is such a cute dress. I love the colors. from the, oh, the green and plum. And, and this is the way to go. Go bold with a pattern with a dress like this because it's flowy and it's fun. Also, that's gonna be an easy wear. Now, if you're a little bit concerned about showing so much like, don't be afraid to throw on a tiny bicycle short underneath or also you can wear a cowboy boot. Yeah. So that's another way to really show off like the definition that we typically see in these legs without being super exposed. Right, I like the bicycle short because you never know, especially like, you know, walking up here. Yes. It's like the wind tunnel. Oh my, yeah, it's a Marilyn <laughs> you know Monroe waiting it's to a happen. Marilyn, the, 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 <laughs> just waiting to happen. So that's a good little tip because you won't be able to, to see the bicycle short, but God forbid if you get a little burst of wind, yes. you covered. You, you know, know you're good. Safe. You're safe. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, next, next up one. we have the pear shape, right? And so that's going to be a person typically who's smaller through their bust line, smaller through their waist, and then has a larger hip, butt, and thigh. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be a person who's more of a bottom shape. And what we're looking for here is you're going to want something that's tighter what across the slender, here, yeah. right? And the best thing with the trends that we're seeing in spring for 2023 is the smocking. We're going to continue mm -hmm. to see a lot of smocking. That is the perfect trend to go to if you're a pear shape because it's really going to accentuate where you don't have a lot of curves right. and balance you out. Now, here we've got a Farm Rio dress. And you can and see again, cute. we've got smocking that's going to bring the details in, but then it's really voluminous where you're going to have more weight in your body and it's going to yeah. kind of cover that up. When we think about length with something like this, it's important. If you're a shorter person with a maxi dress like this, you probably don't want it to be floor length because it's going to swallow you. Right. A midi length is probably going to be a better move versus if you're really tall, you may go for that maxi and it's going to look glamorous and long. Yeah. It's like the taller you are, I mean, just about <laughs> anything you wear looks. Really, <laughs> really all the options come to you. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 get, you get lucky. Okay, now this is a fun one. This looks so cute. I don't know if I could pull this off, but it looks so cute. We are. I'm excited. I'm going to wear this for career day this week. It is perfect for the hourglass shape. So if you have a little bit of bust, a little bit of shoulder, a little bit of butt, this is a great way. And we are going to see denim everywhere. So denim rompers, denim skirts, denim dresses. Denim's going to be huge. What I love about this for an hourglass shape, that's going to be, like I said, big bust, big butt. This cinched waist is gonna be what you look for. Now, it may be something that you see built into a jumpsuit or a dress like this. Another way to do that would be to look for like a wide stretchy belt. Those are coming back of the early 2000s. Yes. And oh you gosh. know, I mean, we used to belt them over everything. Uh -huh. We'll see that again this summer. So whether it's a sash, a belt like that, or actually the build of the dress, this is a body type that'll do really well with an A-line as well. Okay, this is so cute. Y'all, it's a, it's a little romper. You can see it's like little shorts. We're seeing these are so cute. What body type does this go for? These are so fun. Now, rompers, a disclaimer, we've talked about this. Uh -huh. A romper's a try-on. Right. It's... <laughs> or order it in two sizes if you're ordering from offline. Yes. You know, they're tricky to fit. I love a romper on a rectangle shape. So that's typically going to be your person who's a little bit straighter throughout their body who may want to create the illusion of curves, a very thin person, yeah. who may want to look like they have more of a bust or more of a butt. And so for that person, what we love about the rompers, we've got a little bit of a sleeve detail here and then a rolled up sleeve. So you're creating more volume volume up here to kind mm -hmm. of draw the eye up and out. And then these cargo pockets that you see on the hips, those are going to help add a little bit of volume in that area, which is going to make that person look like they have a hip, even if perhaps they're very, very straight. Right. Right. And so then again, we've got the fun belt. Always try them on for the height. And I would pair this with some fun, bright accessories with a rectangle shape. Anytime you can kind of draw the eye in other directions with loud, vibrant accessories with a fun pattern like this, that's a great way to add volume. See, these are so fun. Great looks, perfect for spring and the changing temperatures. Said you've got two locations here in South Carolina, obviously one on Hayward Road, about four miles from yes. us, and then one in Spartanburg. Yes, absolutely. So we're next to Ollie's in Spartanburg, and we're in Columbia too. I love it. Look at you. Three in the state. I was short and I was short our Gamecock fans. My bad. Yes. <laughs> yeah, get your Gamecock gear. <laughs> love it, girl. 
close Mentor Goodbye and see Miss Sadie.